Hello, um, beautiful people. This is a Friday afternoon, and um, I definitely want to be making a Facebook Live at this time of the weekend. I definitely wasn't planning to, um, but uh, no. seeing as the events in my life have um, transpired to um, to make me want to talk about something that's just happened that's kind of important that may help people, and maybe it's more of charting my journey, my memories, really, that I want to do this for, as I really get deep into trans um, scene retention, sexual energy and playing around with that stuff. I think it ought to make that video and come online and talk to you a little bit about it and what just happened. Unfortunately, and share um, as I normally do, this is not really awkward, but the human Harry, you know, let's be honest here. I love scene retention. I've been doing it for two and a half years. Um, and I got a little bit cocky in my mind because three or four, four months ago now I came into trans meditation. Four months ago, before August, I was, this, um, the past few years, I've been inconsistent with meditation. Then I found Transcendental Meditation. I wrote a book about that very quickly, which is very good, by the way, even though it's short. And I got into Transcendental Meditation. I thought I wouldn't get a wet dream because I get in, I got into Transcendental Meditation, which I did, not just two times 20 minutes daily. I was doing it like 50 minutes times two, at least an hour, sometimes more, an hour twice daily. Plus I'm doing a passionate too. Anyway, um, I just went for an afternoon fucking Sierra star. Uh, and um, just for an hour before sunset, I'm gonna go out now quickly. And yeah, guess what happened on day sixty-four and the and the tag thing here. Oh well, wow. there we go. You know that it happened. The funny thing was, day sixty-four, and I thought I'd never have again. Well, I dre and in this one hour break sleep, I was dreaming that I had a wet dream. Right in my dreams, this is really weird, bizarre, bizarre. I had a wet uh, I had a dream. I just lost all my semen in my wet dream, and I was like, damn, that's really gutting. And I woke up, I woke up, all right, and I thought, okay, that was just a dream. Then I checked down below and it was all wet. And I was like, oh, fuck, you know, I actually have, definitely. And I was like, Is it, are you sure it's not pre-ejaculate and stuff? And I'm like, no, that's that's everything. That's quite a lot of shit there. 64 days of charge, plus age urine on my testicles, plus sunshine on my testicles. That's a lot of test, a lot of semen there, you know, that's gone. But that's okay, because here's the thing that I'm excited about to chart for my journey, because this is actually something special for me that I've never done before. What will happen, what has happened in the past two and a half years when this happens? A wet dream at day 30, 40, 50, 60. I think the most I did was 72, day 72, day 72 days before I got a wet dream. Um, what's happened in the past every time for the past two and a half years is I would go, oh shit, wet dream, okay, now I can masturbate for the next few days and get back on again. This would happen every single time and i think it's because a i wasn't ready b i wasn't disciplined c i wasn't really understanding the power of seam, sexual energy and seam retention fully i wasn't as dedicated as i think i thought i could get away with it like you know oh no it's totally must be well i woke up on this one and now i know and I'm not, it's not because i make a video and not even because i'm pulling myself accountable for the video something is very different now i won't do it this is just a fucking this is just natural, uh, um, something that I couldn't control. What do you want to, whatever you want to call it, uh, concubus, or if you believe it's a, yeah, possibly, I don't know, something's um, from the astral or from another world trying to drag you down, possibly could be. I'm down for that. Whatever. This one, I don't care because I'm back on. I'm not gonna, I'm done with that shit. I really am. I think this is it for me now. I'm actually done with that shit. I'm done with manuals and porn and masturbation or even just not even visual just in my mind masturbating and actually i'm edging fuck that shit um nope never done that never do that but i would always masturbate and you know at tomorrow or the day after and for maybe two or three times for a few days and then go okay i can do it i can get back on it again go oh, miss the porn but now something's different i'm telling you something's really different it could have been could be the fact i know about sexual energy could be the fact i read a reread a multi asmic man by mantel chia I'm far more dedicated now Something's changed inside my psyche, and this also includes how I see um, sex now towards it, sacred sex. Whenever something's changed in my psyche, psyche deep with that, I'll give an example. Whenever I see um, uh, sex in Hollywood, on, and I watch a lot of Hollywood movies, by the way. I love my movies. One guilty, we guilty pleasure. I don't think I'll ever give up. Doesn't matter how spiritual I become, how minimalist I become. I'll always enjoy Hollywood for the art. How for the art of the watching. You know, there's a lot of things about that going on. I watch it at very deep level. I get a lot out of it. Anyway, when I watch that too, I watch um, Sex on, on Hollywood. I, I Now looking at that completely different, every time the guy explodes, I'm like, I feel um, sad, angry, and I go through the emotions of this is teaching people the wrong thing, this is not the way for men to do it, this is a drain of his energy, 
Um, this is, you know, I look at it completely different. So these things are changing. I'm actually changing at the core foundation level. Now the stuff that maybe I've been talked about before, which I wasn't that committed to, but understood. Now I'm understand not just understanding the deep intellectual level. Like people that understand enlightenment, are you actually fucking doing the meditation, bro? You know, you're doing the Vipassana. You understand what it means to break free. Like, you're talking about health. You know a lot about health. It's a difference, isn't it? Well, I knew about it a lot before. Now I'm starting to actually fucking do it. I'm starting to, it's, it's deep inside my psyche. My point is this. I'm back on. It's not a loss. It's just whatever. Whatever. And um, for the first time, since I see retention now, I mean, I think this is actually the first time. That's it. I'm just going to get back on a run the f without, you know, no manuals, nothing. Just acceptance of what happened transpired. That's part of enlightenment, isn't it? What happens, happens. See reality. Part of enlightenment is this. See, you know, the Buddha's Vipassana is um, you see reality as it is, the sensations in your body. And you don't react to them. You so you see them. You don't deny reality. People, are, you don't deny duality. You don't deny the the sensations of uh, cravings of pleasure sensations. You don't deny the aversion sensations. Oh, there's pain in my back. You don't deny it. And then enlightenment comes. Well, I'm not denying what happened. What happened happened. Maybe it will happen less in the future. Maybe it will stop completely. No biggie. No fucking biggie. I'm always working on myself. Back on it. And that's fucking a pleasure to um. So no, and I'm not just saying that, I'm not even doing this video for the validation to hold me accountable, so that I won't, I know I won't, in my heart, and that's really cool. Finally, at 33 years old, 32 years old, nearly 33 years old, the age of the Jesus. Um, yeah, and finally fucking back on this, so looking forward to um, charging up again, and seeing if 64 days can be beaten, and um, knowing for the first time that I'm not going to manually, for possibly fucking ever, I, I, that sounds weird, but, you know, and, and it, it comes the same with sex as well, like I said to you, um, absolutely committed in that situation with a a partner that you deeply love or with a partner that i won't be that that's one thing that's going to be weird to me but i know in my heart that's going to happen too what i mean is i'm not saying tantric sex is not going to be an option i'm saying that actual ejaculation is going to be key um non-ejaculation even if that's sending the seed up might be a bit hard and takes practice which i believe it does to send the seed fully up around the body to i want it in my brain i want the set the, the aroused sexual energy from you know, sexual energy to go into my hand. Maybe that'd be a bit hard, but certainly as a guy, what you can do very easily with the right mindset and determination, which I seem to have fucking got now, is you can at least go, okay, oh, I'm aroused. I'm getting to the point of no return. Time to chill. Time to stop. Time to deep breathe. Time to um, do those anus contractions. Or time and of course, time to send the thoughts away from the genitals. I know this will happen now with a partner, which is very exciting. Because that is weird for me, coming new into health, like new into physical health for years and definitely new into sexual energy stuff for like, I only heard about it last year, the Montauk Chia stuff. And now this year rereading the book, something shift has happened inside me, reading all your posts. So thank you everyone that's been talking about this for such a long time on Facebook, sacred energy, tantric sex, setting the seed up, Montauk Chia, of course, anyone that practices Montauk Chia has put the comments up that's obviously ingrained in my brain. Uh, Montauk Chia himself for his books, thank you very much, sexual kung fu. Another great guy on YouTube to check out, Sexual Kung Fu. There's loads. Every guy talking about sea retention. I love how sea retention is blowing up on YouTube, by the way. No, not November. Holy shit. My, some of the most views on my videos now are not just aged urine. It used to be just aged urine. We used to have, like, a couple of videos that had loads of views on aged urine, and all my other views were very small. Now, in No, not November, I made a few videos, and people were, like, getting 1,000, 2,000 views. There's a lot for mine. Channel um, on sea retention. So I'm very happy the way the world's going with sea retention. Um, the way that guys are changing, evolving, and getting into seam retention as the foundation base for building, for playing around with sexual energy, seam retention will always be it. I'm proud for them, and I'm proud for me. Finally, at 32 years old, I am shifting. Yeah, finally, finally, finally. Finally taking out my power. Finally going to be youthful. Finally going to be young and excited. I'm really excited that I had that way. No one's excited after a wet dream of six more days. Yes, I am. Because now I know I'm just going to get back on. And, like, I know now that my discipline is there and... I don't have the urge, and here we go. Let's go again, and again, and again, and again, and again. If it happens, I don't give a shit. Cool. All right, peace. Thanks for watching. Hope you all have a nice video. And, um, yeah, Nick, very true, bro. Glad you're watching.